what's up guys today i got another budget friendly alternative for you the oppo reno 7 lite 5g the dual sim version that i have here is called cosmic black it comes with a snapdragon 695 5g chipset 8 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of internal storage a 64 megapixel f1.7 rear camera a 16 megapixel f2.4 front camera and a 6.43 AMOLED display with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. In the package you will get a clear phone case A SIM removal tool A safety guide A quick guide And a 33 watt charger with Oppo's Super VOC fast charging technology Using their proprietary charger and cable, you should be able to charge this bad boy's 4500 mAh battery to 100% in about 70 minutes. The rear of the device has a smooth but grippy surface, probably made of plastic, with the two big lenses of the rear camera resembling an iPhone design. The lenses protrude quite a bit, so resting the device on a flat surface without a phone case might leave a scratch. Among the distinctive features, the blue ring lights or breathing lights as Oppo calls them, located at the base of each rear lens are the most interesting. These blue lights will display a fade in fade out effect during incoming calls or notifications when the device is plugged in and charging. With a resolution of 1080 by 2500 pixels, the display has a flat glass surface with subtle curves around the edges and comes with a pre-applied plastic screen protector. The bezel at the bottom is slightly larger than around the edges and the selfie camera has a punch hole design. The under display fingerprint sensor has good responsiveness and an easy to reach location. The middle frame is most likely plastic as well as there are no antenna lines anywhere. On the right hand side there is a power button and on the left the volume buttons and SIM tray. There is a secondary microphone on the top while on the bottom there is a 3.5mm jack port, a microphone, a USB type C port and a downward firing speaker. With a weight of 173 grams and a size of 159.9 by 73.2 by 7.5 millimeters, the Renault 7 Lite G has an easy to grip design and the 20 by 9 aspect ratio of the screen favors content consumption. To test the performance of the Snapdragon 695 5G chipset, which has two 2.2 GHz and another six 1.7 GHz cores. I ran Geekbench 5 and the V9.5 version of the Antutu benchmark. As expected, when compared with the latest, more premium models, the performance is not that impressive, but considering the price range, it is quite acceptable. 
Uh, I wasn't able to test the full 5G capabilities of the device as my service provider did not support these speeds in the area. Nevertheless, here is a speed test that I ran and the transfer speeds it achieved. To get an idea of how the Renault 7 Lite 5G performs on the more demanding scenarios, I played PUBG for 30 minutes while measuring the internal temperatures using the CPU monitor app and external temperatures using a thermal camera. The triple camera setup of the Renault 7 Lite 5G delivers good quality pictures with a good dynamic range and low noise levels, especially in good lighting conditions. Changing the default 16 megapixel to 64 megapixel mode further improves the level of detail in the pictures at the cost of larger file sizes. Sadly, no RAW format is available. The 16 megapixel selfie camera also delivers good quality pictures with well balanced colors. In low light conditions, both the primary and secondary cameras have a bit of difficulty with the noise levels. Pictures are noisier and the details in the dark areas are missing. The 1080p at 30fps video quality is nothing extraordinary, but with the help of the built-in stabilization, part of the vibrations in the footage are reduced. Also, the H.265 compression helps with the file size and quality of the encoded video. Having a single bottom firing speaker limits the quality and loudness of the sound. After a couple of months of using this device, I can say that for the price of around $350, you will get more than you paid for. Thanks for watching guys and till next time, take care.